Welcome back to Computer Games, and it's time for another round of Guardian Siege Battles. Today, we are battling the Dim Sum Boys. We got Beer Club, and we're coming from MY Frenzy. Alright, let's go straight to the action! Hitting first, we got Beer Club here. Let's hit this Mo Long, Nigong, and Busa. We're bringing our Eladriel together with the Diana. And somebody to tank this Mo Long. Someone like Halfas. Okay, let's go. The thing is, of course, the Reckless Assault will pop that uh, endless attachment passive from our uh, Halfas, right? The Wusa and this Nigong doesn't have or don't have a defense break. So with the lower health ratio on the Halfas, they will hit him. But at the same time, even if they hit our wind monsters, they basically, yeah, the Molong won't change targets, right? And at the same time, even if this Nigong does have that um, soul protection, right? Or, well, Eladriel can, of course, what do you call it? Uh, debuff it, <laughs> cleanse it, strip it, yeah, strip it. But at the same time, Eladriel also has strip on his skill 1. Now, automatically, it's a 3 versus 2. And without the Molong, they don't exactly have burst damage. But, yeah, that skill 2 from the Pioneers, as we've shown you in our previous videos, still does a little bit of good damage. And... Yeah, it can still be very dangerous. So let's go heal our help us here. Okay, and then let's just wait for some turn cycles here and we should be good. Because even if, say, they go wild and crazy and take four or five turns, we still have Eladriel who can revive our help us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting the Diana train on. <laughs> well, of course. Why did he... Or why, yeah, she got... <laughs> Uh, what do you call it? Outturned by this very fast Wusa. Okay, come on. But repeat Gucci. And while we're killing these pioneers, we got time for some shoutouts. Shout out to Kirko Jaranilia, Sashi, Wayu Aditya, Nico Duterte, Pochalski, Nirorit, Sebastian Weiss, we got Rexy Cats. Apple, Matthew Mota Avellino, and Haley Co. I hope we read your names correctly and thank you for supporting our channel. Please do continue to like, subscribe, and share. That does help the algorithm to you know promote our channel to other people with the same interests. Especially for you know uh, what do you call it? Additional views, additional subscribers. Okay, and we're pretty good. More of the Diana train, and let's go, G G G G G G unit. All right, onwards to the next base. Oh man, let's go. More of Beer Club's L and D towers. It's this Tian Lang, Ziratu, and Molly. Well, we still do have our Bulwark Emilia, and let's bring in our Vampire Skogul. Who's gonna take the first turn? It's gonna be the Tian Lang. Doesn't go for the strip, but does get a Valent proc, so that's not a despair Tian Lang. Does he have destroy? I don't know, but first to kill here will definitely be this Ziratu because the Ziratu is gonna be doing a lot of damage. Most people would make the mistake of actually sniping the Molly. Now, if you snipe the Molly, that See, the Tian Lang gets to put a defense break on one of your monsters and say Zirato is still alive, gets that turn, snipes one of your units, and you're pretty left at the mercy of the, you know, the defense breaks coming from the Tian Lang. Even if you have immunity, he can strip. You know, you can't bring in attack buffing or attack bar buffing monsters or attack bar gaining monsters because the Tian Lang is going to be benefiting from that. It's just going to be very dangerous, so just snipe that Ziratu and pray to the RNG <laughs> pray for no pray for some RNG because if this Tianlong goes crazy 
strips you and you know these guilds are top tier guilds and they do have a lot of those artifacts with additional damage coming from their HP as a percent okay now it's good that I think we can kill the molly here let's risk it oh not okay 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 yeah that was so scary though um, because if that Molly survive, then uh, you know our Mo Long will be in danger again. But with Tian Lang all alone, there's no way he can actually. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Heal himself, right? Okay, we Gucci, man. But see, he's taking two turns every turn though. Oh man, that's one crazy defense from God Panda, G2 baby. We got more meta defenses from the Dim Sum Boys. It's a Molly together with a Molong and a Savannah. Let's bring in our own Molong, our buffed Arnold. We did fix up his runes and artifacts together with our Molly. For sure, the Savannah is gonna go. Or it's the Molly. I mean, it's the Molong. Not the Molly does. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Okay, extortion. Now that. You know, he's been buffed. I really like that buff because then you wouldn't think double or you won't think twice of using uh, the third skill, right? Because again, it doesn't go on to cooldown if it kills the opponent. Now, three versus two. I'm not thinking if we should extort again, but let's weaken that attack power. Um, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Why not go for extortion on the molly and then, you know, what do you call it? Reckless Assault the Molly. Well, I'm playing it safe here, right? I lowered the health of the Savannah because the Savannah can go violent crazy and with the RNG nowadays, it's just, yeah, it's just crazy. <laughs> it's risky. I'd say risky because at the end of the day, um, a Molly cannot kill. I don't think this Molly is in destroy because the Mollies are normally built on um, violent nemesis, right? So, yeah, uh, let's just wait for the cooldowns to go around. Okay, nice heal block, but of course she's gonna cleanse that with her second skill. And then, now that we were able to ship that with our own molly, we can actually go for the reckless assault here, right? And we're pretty Gucci. Oh man, I really like that. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, rebuild him if you haven't. And there goes the base. We got more buffed units, but this time on defense, especially this Odin, right? Odin will now have the elemental advantage over enemies, which means he will hit other elements. Well, let's put it to the test. I really think that without all the five skills, right? Without the five knowledge, he'll still hit onto the water monster right um so if he's oblivion okay but well anyway yeah uh, no knowledge so he should hit onto camilla right he's not like um what do you call it not like a theomars who just randomly always has that elemental king passive so yeah technically i yeah let's kill him <laughs> but you see my example right I mean, wait, what is this? Kano, chill, bro. Chill, okay. Luis is getting angry. <laughs> um, yeah, as I was saying, it will be risky if that Odin, you know, um, does have the full stack of knowledge. Then he will go for any opponent. But when he doesn't have full knowledge, I think that he still hits onto water. So correct me if I'm wrong, please do leave a comment, let's talk about it. But based on this example right now, and I have been testing that Odin out in Guild Wars as well, he basically goes for other units when he has that full stack of knowledge. So do be careful when you're facing that o these Odin defenses, especially when he has that five stack of knowledge, you know, five stacks of knowledge, he will hit a random opponent 
and if you have a squishy opponent or a, a squishy what do you call it a squishy team bringing in like a dps monster bringing in against an odin then you can easily snipe that unit and your plan or your attack would have automatically been a gg oh hey now this Bastet's not gonna be able to solo us, so we're pretty Gucci here. However, yeah, we're still very happy to see Odin back in the defense metas. Okay, there goes that defense from Ray levels, and there goes the base. We got more of the Dim Sum boys, more of the Molly, Molong, and Savannas. Let's bring Zing Zhe, Riley, and Laika. A lot of people would say that Laika is not a good counter against Molong. But if you do bring him with, say, like a Riley who provides attack power buff and um, immunity, then you're pretty good. Why? Well, mainly because with the immunity, you know, he won't be able to defense break the Laika. And even if, say, he goes multi hits with that one, you know. No defense break, that won't do a lot of damage, so you can tank. Um, but at the same time, bringing him, or bringing in him with the Zingze, with the HP lead of Zingze, right? Makes him a little more tankier. Oh, but still, of course, very dangerous if they proc too much. But, hmm, who should we snipe here? I'm thinking lower the health of the Molong more. We do have Zingze with a destroy. Okay, defense break, please. Come on. Okay. Good thing the Molly doesn't cleanse that. Why is the... Dude. I mean, why did Savannah hit onto the Leica? Because of the defense break? But at the end of the day, I mean, he didn't have that low HP. It's, it wasn't, you know, below 50%. Um, what's... Is that... Is there a rule to this? <laughs> Leave a comment. We wanna <laughs> let's talk about it. I mean, honestly, shouldn't she be attacking onto a Zingze or the Riley? I mean, I'll try to watch that replay later, but yeah, I don't know. But anyway, three versus one against the Molly. Um, times like these, very happy we brought in destroy runes, and yeah, it won't take us long. Because mollies are just, man, they're like a black hole who can just, you know, we have shown you, like, when was that, uh, a Diana feature, right? And the molly just kept proccing and it took, like, the most battles I've fought against mollies is, like, what, I don't know, uh, 20 minutes for one battle? <laughs> And you can't even auto a Diana, right? Because Diana's AI, not the best. You know, um, she wouldn't keep transforming back and forth. She'll just keep hitting and randomly even putting shields when she feels like one of the teammates are in danger, right? But yeah, she wouldn't go for the multi-hit all the time. That's why it's just very dangerous. Well, not really dangerous, but not so smart AI. Okay, now you can see here that the Molly's health is already kind of getting low, right? And we do have a defense break right here. Uh, a little bit of resistance there, but we're pretty Gucci. Oh, man. I was thinking of putting Laika on a destroy set too, because we did bring, um, or we did make a destroy Chao, right? And it's pretty good because Chao does heal himself as well, but not like Camilla's first aid passive. However, a uh, heal is a heal and a debuff is a debuff. I mean, a cleanse is a cleanse. <laughs> Time for some NB4 defenses. We got Kano, Chilling, and Triana's here. Let's bring our frigate together with Galleon and Julie. Hopefully no immunity. Okay, we're good. No immunity on the Carcano and the Chillin' here. Let's go, Galleon. Oh no! Thousand shots. 
Well, this snipe is chilling. Okay, okay. Uh, defense break. Reduce attack bar. Oh, nice damage from our galleon there. Okay, glancing hits now on this Triana. Uh, can we freeze? Glancing again. Full speed ahead. Time to loot. And Julie, can you finish? Oh, so much glancing, but that was good. All right. Another buff unit back on defense here. We got Ciara, Orion, and Perna. Let's bring our Sylvia, Wusa, and Belenus. A lot of you did wish for Sylvia in action. So let's go soften up. I don't know. Does it matter? I'm thinking Ciara, right? Because we don't want her bombing. And this Orion can, if she strips this. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what I was. Okay, nice resistance from our Wusa there. Okay, let's go. Wild Roar. Nice provoke. Uh, let's keep working on the Ciara. Ooh, nice damage from the Belenus. Okay, now this Perna. Okay, let's go. Okay, sleep. No sleep. Sleep. No sleep. Okay. Down, Perna. And a 3 versus 1. Yeah, I know. I know. I shouldn't have used Cutting Magic. Should have used the first skill. I don't know. <laughs> I just like... I mean, it's a multi-hit too. Um, yeah, but... Who, yeah, I, I did get some feedback that the first skill does more damage. So... Okay. Let's see here. Okay, we got Wendy with Ciara, Martina, and Shaina. I'm thinking... Yeah... Thinking of outspeeding it with our Dova and our Lucian. Yeah, we got Dova here. I'm thinking of bringing in an additional speed lead. But it's just a bit risky to bring in a 24% speed lead. Because I heard these Martinas are on Swift also. Um, yeah, let's bring in our light speed lead from Jin. But Jin is on a... F still on a five star <laughs> well i'm thinking you know lucian should be able to cleave let's go ideally no five star monsters but let's go lucian with the amputation magic <laughs> Oh man, so dangerous. It's so dangerous. You know, it's a little bit dangerous. Okay, onwards to the next defense. On our last attack here, we got here Kailum with a Molly, Foki, and that's a Molong. Okay, well, let's see what we got. Hmm, should we begin Nigo? I don't know. Um, let's play with a new unit that we just built. I mean, it's been long overdue. No, we're not going to use a Leo on that. I'm thinking let's bring in our bombs with the Ciara. And then let's bring a little bit of tankiness. Or a tank. A water tank. Again, I'm thinking wind, wind tank right um where is that guy here we go we got the gora with the Ciara, and then let's use the newly buffed chasun with the hp lead oh man will this work though well there's only one way to find out let's go the gora i don't know man <laughs> Um, uh, I'm thinking let's put the bomb on the Fuki and then soften up this Molong because Molong is going to go for the Dagora. Oh, but of course, automatically. Uh, Dagora does have a second life. 
Let's go crouch. Okay. And then bump this Molong. Boom. Attack power buff also from the Chasun, of course. Let's see how much, how tanky our Dagora is. <laughs> um, okay. Oh no. Heal up time. Bomb on Fuki. And then let's continue softening up this Molly. I think this is good. I mean, Dagora so good. Okay. Um, hmm. It's not a destroy Fuki. If it was a destroy Fuki, it would be a different story. Oh, but high resistant Molly over there. Let's go crouch. Okay, okay. Chasun doing Chasun things. Will this kill? Let's see. Ooh, so tanky. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, Chasun. <laughs> kill her with skill one. I mean, if the go let's put up on the Foki and then soften up the Molly so that. Yeah, she puts the shield on herself. And then now this Foki is just gonna be bye bye. Right? Boom! <laughs> oh man, that was such a anti <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, I mean, finally it's been a while. Well, not a while, but I mean, it's about time once again. Incoming! Booyah! Alright! And that's the last of our monster attacks for today. Thank you to our guildies. And of course, thank you to you, our G unit. We would like to dedicate these 10 wins to you. Now let's go wait for the results of this OP siege battle. That's a GG well played to Beer Club, the Dim Sum Boys, and to our very own guildies at MY Frenzy. Now it's time for our Triple S Trophy Box. What do we get? We get a light and dark scroll. <laughs> Just kidding. Do we get one more chance for a shiny? I mean, this is so random, right? Oh, Sean. Oh, big boss Sean Zen already got the shiny. I don't know. Um, let's try this one over here on top. Uh, and we get purple runes and more crystals okay i think i'm gonna keep that one mainly because of that you know chance for a triple roll on speed for a despair rune all right and that's it for today thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content have a great week ahead and good luck on your siege battles may the force be with you we'll see you on the next one